Hello friends, welcome back to another video. We were actually reporting now from a new park that I have not visited. We are at Six Flags Great Adventure, which is located in Jackson, New Jersey, which is between Philadelphia and New York. This park looks amazing. Tons of roller coasters, especially the world's tallest roller coaster with Kinda Ka, 456 feet, 128 miles per hour. It's gonna be insane. And we've got a ton of great coasters. And today is also a special day because if everything goes right, I'll be riding my 200th roller coaster, which I'm wearing my Fury shirt today, which this was the same shirt that I wore while I rode my 100th five years ago at Hershey Park back in 2018. It's gonna be an exciting day today. I'm really excited. This park looks awesome. Let's get started. Just entered the park. You can see the Joker is doing some test runs. This will be my first ever SNS free spin. Oh, no one, oh, they do have it unblocked off right now. So they probably open it stagger time, so they've got security over here. That makes sense. That's why we haven't seen Superman, Green Lantern, or Kinda Ka do any test runs. Same with El Toro. That makes so much sense. So they do staggered openings. It's kind of like SeaWorld, how they do staggered openings. The park just opened up this area, and we're going to head over and check out Superman Ultimate Flight, which, from what I was told, it does get the longest line in the park. So why not just go ahead and get the flying coaster started, just get it over with. And thankfully we got that and Green Lantern, which are next to each other. So that should be good. And then afterwards we can go ahead and head up King Ka, which it did have an accident, I think last month with a launch cable, um, you know, but, um, but they fixed it and it's been running for the last week. So excited to get back on King Ka or get on King Ka. I've been on Tothel Dragster, which has retired since, but yeah. This is awesome, the world's tallest roller coaster. All right, just had a chance to experience Superman Ultimate a flight. Like the one in Atlanta, which I haven't ridden in like six years. It was pretty good. The pretzel loop was very intense. And I did prefer the Atlanta one because of the terrain usage. I still enjoyed it. It was really good. Although, what's not good though, Green Lantern's down, suffering from the Intamin curse. So, I guess you know what that means. Let's go ride Kinda Ka. All right, it is time for a top bucket list coaster of mine. This is the King Da Ka. This is the world's tallest roller coaster, North America's fastest. This ride is super massive. And I know I keep saying that, but I'm just really excited to be here and ride this. Like, yes, I've been on top of Dragster at Cedar Point, which is pretty much like this ride, just not as tall. But, but the fact that this is the world's tallest is saying something. And then, oh wow, you get a great view of El Toro from over here, which this was my most anticipated roller coaster. I was gonna make this my 200th, but due to certain reasons, I'm probably just gonna do this one next. But yeah, I will talk to you guys once we get off King Da Ka. All right, so I was able to do King Da Ka, not once, not twice, but three times. There was a walk on, got to ride three times, and it is insane. That launch is ridiculous and that launch lives up and i love the top hat and it's got a good airtime hill as well i will say this definitely not as good as top bill dragster but kina ka you have to come experience it it's the world's tallest roller coaster you can't just you can't skip it you have to ride it it's so good it's actually going up right now but not only that we did zoom and draw a drop of doom and that's definitely one of the best drop towers that i've experienced personally well, drop wasn't as intense as I thought it was gonna be. It was still an insane drop, and I overall just loved it. But it's not as good as Falcon's Fury. But phenomenal right now. How about we go hop on El Toro? I've been waiting too much, too long to ride it. All right, never mind. Green Lantern is finally running, so we're gonna go ahead and ride Green Lantern. And what I'm excited for this is that's a stand-up coaster, which normally when you think of stand-ups, you're like, oh no. But after running Pipeline. I'm starting to gain an appreciation for stand-up coasters. So let's see how this one holds up. All right, just had the chance to experience the Green Lantern, the B&M stand-up coaster here. And I enjoyed it, but it was very rough. It was a very rough coaster. And um, so the thing with the Green Lantern, you just gotta know how to ride it. Just keep your head like pinned against the seat, kind of keep your strength, like kind of close to your crotch, not really if you're a dude. And you'll enjoy it, but I wouldn't say it's like anything spectacular, but I enjoyed it though. Good layout. Here it is. This is the El Toro, which is an Intamin prefabricated wooden roller coaster. It opened in 2006. And from what I've heard by many enthusiasts, that this is one of the greatest roller coasters of all time. 
due to its insane ejector airtime and just overall like modern feel to a wind roller coaster. This ride looks incredible. I am excited. I will talk to you guys once we get off because this ride looks so good. All right, just did El Toro, back row. Rode it with um, one of my friends, Griffin. Um, that was absolutely incredible. The ride did just go down, I think. They haven't seen a train go, so we got really lucky. Intamin decided to come in Intamin before we got off. I mean, it was so good. But um, going back to El Toro, I mean, that was unreal. That drop is incredible for starters. The airtime hills are just so strong and violent, especially the Rolling Thunder Hill. That made me almost lose my voice. And the turns at the end were insane. Literally the greatest wind coaster I've ever done. Sorry, Lightning Rod, you have been dethroned. Next roller coaster is gonna be Medusa, which is a B&M floorless coaster. This opened back in 1999. It was called Medusa, but then in 2009, they changed it to Bizarro, but recently they changed it back to Medusa. It was, I believe it was last year in 2022. And um, while the paint scheme is different from when it first opened as Medusa, this ride looks really cool. If you know me, you know I love my B&M loopers, especially cracking to see roll being at my home park and the incredible hall. There's some of my favorite coasters out there. I've heard Medusa is definitely one of the top floor coasters. I'll talk to you guys once we get off. Just had a chance to do Medusa. That was a pretty good floorless coaster, but I wouldn't say it's like the best floorless. Definitely does not beat Kraken, but honestly, I would take Ruguru over this. I know a lot of people hate Ruguru, but honestly, Ruguru is a pretty underrated coaster. But I would take this over Dominator because I did like the billboards and stuff. It definitely was smooth. It wasn't like, I still say Ruguru is the smoothest floorless I've done. Yes, I know a lot of people would call me crazy for that, but you know, Medusa, pretty good coaster, just maybe just a little underwhelming. Guys, I'm currently just eating lunch right now. Um, food, it's pretty good. Um, not the best, but not the worst. Pizza though, it's okay. Just take kind of just like DiGiorno. But like I said, even then you can't go wrong with DiGiorno. All right, let's go ride Big Thunder Mountain, AKA your best remove. Nah, we're, I'm just kidding. We're about to do the runaway mine train next. This is just an arrow mine train. I'm excited to get on this one. You know, I heard it's got a really underrated ejector pop. So that'll be fun. Do you know there's one thing that Six Flags Great Adventure has that we don't have back home? They have Rita's. I love Rita's. All right, now it's time to go ride my first ever SNS free spin, which is the Joker. I've never been on one of these before, but these rides are super unpredictable. You never know how many times they're gonna flip. This looks super weird. Although I've heard they're very smooth, so that's good. This one opened back in 2016 and they're cloned at many Six Flags parks, but the two Six Flags parks that I've been to, they don't have this, so. You know, this will be my first ever free spin. This will actually kind of get me prepared if I ever go on like X2 at Six Flags Magic Mountain. So yeah, let's do the Joker. I need time to process uh, Joker. What the heck was that? That literally destroyed my groin area. Also, ran into Griffin. Hello. Um, you know Griffin, big sports fan. Follows my YouTube channel. E-A-G-L-E-S. Eagles fan. And go, go Phillies. And go, go Ravens. Six, go Sixers, go Flyers. So. All right, we're about to do Jersey Double Coaster. You know, it looks like it might rain. I hope it doesn't end up like Hershey Park Friday. That was pretty brutal. But thankfully, I've got all the creds, so that didn't even bother me one bit. All right, just at Jersey Devil. This thing exceeded my expectations. I was in front row and got thrown around all over the place. It was incredibly smooth. What do you think? Uh, I think it's a. Uh, I, I don't think it's as good as Caw, but it's running better and better each year. Yeah. Do you want to be at Mazin? What'd you think? I think Jersey I Double? need a nap. <laughs> well, we might get a nap on Nitro. We're about to do Nitro now, which, speaking of Nitro, this is going to be a special ride for me because this will be my 200th roller coaster overall. I'm super excited. But Jersey Devil, that was incredible. Now it makes me a little nervous now if I ever go to Six Flags Fiesta, Texas and ride the Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster or same at Six Flags Magic Mountain or even Rail Blazer at California's Great America, Stunt Pilot. There's so many of them. This this was amazing. Jersey Devil, 10 out of 10. Phenomenal. Here we are. This is going to be the special 200 for Nitro, the b and Hyper at the park. I was told this is a mid-tier Hyper, but this has Mortal Kombat music, so I don't even care. 
This ride looks awesome. And like I said before, you can never go wrong with a B&M Hyper Coaster. Alrighty. Just did 200 coasters. Feels good. But Nitro, let me tell you something. That was an amazing Hyper Coaster. I mean, I didn't have high expectations for it. People say it's one of the weakest Hypers. No, it's not. Better, it's better than... It's better than Candemonium. Maybe just I'm so used to it, but I just don't. I don't think it. Well, they are running Batman. That's good. Like I don't understand that I loved it though. Nitro is amazing. Not the best hyper. I still think Mako is the best, but. Hey, what's up? Say hi to the vlog. Ah, uh, it's fine. Um, but I think we're gonna do the Batman clone next. It's like the last major outdoor coaster we really need to ride. Let's, and everything else is already like the indoor coasters, flat rides, all that stuff. Let's go ahead and head over to Batman. Just made it into Batman and guess what? Running one train. All right, just had a chance to do Batman the ride. What'd you think? That was definitely one of my better rides I had on it. So. I know the last time I rode a Batman clone was Six years ago, Bitch was actually it was six years ago good. yesterday. It's, it's I not forgot how forceful good. those rides are. Yeah, it's not over Georgia good, but it's still it was really good this time. Like, Sorry, guys. Yeah, Batman the Lab, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was forceful. Tons of fun. Love these coasters. It's, it's a clone, but you can't go wrong with Batman the Ride. Yeah. All right, we're about to go. Hey, say hi. We're about to go ride the Dark Knight coaster, which is, it's a wild mouse, but indoors. But I'm excited for this wild mouse because, you know, the TV could add to it. So yeah, I heard this is one of the best wild mouse coasters out here, so let's see if it's true. All right, just got done um, with the Dark Knight coaster, and that's better than your, like, your average wild mouse coaster because of the theming, was, the theming was cool. You know there wasn't really like many special effects or anything, I like the theming of it. And yeah, it's actually better than your average bomb house. Now we're gonna go ride Wonder Woman's Lasso of Truth, which is this crazy plot ride, which I heard, it looks insane. Let's do it. Alrighty, time to go ride Skull Mountain, which is the indoor coaster. This is the last major credit we really need, and then the kitty coaster. And that should conclude the coaster lineup. Just got done Skull Mountain in the back row, honestly. It was okay, but that was a really disappointing experience because now I haven't seen a POV, I don't know where the heck I was going. It was really funny, but now we're gonna go ride the one, one of the kitty coasters, the Holly Quinn crazy train, because this is a little bit interesting because this ride literally has the world's longest train. Like, it's insane how long this train is. Yeah, look how long that train is. That is absolutely insane. I think it's like 28 rows or something like that. It's so weird how long that train is. Just got the kitty cred and honestly, it really feels like Shibu Express, but on complete crack. 20 rows, that is a lot. But you know, for kitty coaster wasn't so bad. I got two good laterals and we got to go twice. So yeah, not a bad ride. Alrighty, we are going to go ahead and ride Justice League Battle for Metropolis. Which I have done one of these before at Six Flags Over Georgia, which was six years ago. So I don't really remember much from this ride, but I remember it being pretty good. But we'll see. I mean, I know the theming quite pretty has like deteriorated a little bit, but it could be wrong. We'll just have to wait and see. And guess what? I made the top 10% of all time. Just shows you how good I am at these shooting dark rides. But in all seriousness, with Justice League Battle for Metropolis, I forgot how fun that ride was. I really did. I mean, I've been on the one in Atlanta before, which I'm sure is the exact same ride as it is here at Great Venture. But it was fun. That was a pretty underrated shooting dark ride. So we're gonna go ahead and get some re-rides, maybe get some merchandise, and call it a day. All right, so Florida decided to come Florida. Even though we're not in Florida, we're in New Jersey, and it is raining. But all in all, today was an absolutely awesome day here at Six Flags Great Adventure. This is definitely the best Six Flags park that I've visited. Got to experience some amazing roller coasters, especially El Toro, Pinaca, Jersey Double Coaster, Nitro, so much more. 
park is awesome. And while I wouldn't say it's like on par with like uh, Kings Island or Cedar Point or anything like that, um, it's definitely, sorry, it's raining, so it's like, we're trying to get out here. But without further ado, I'm gonna end this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. <clears throat> if you did, feel free to give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future if you enjoyed this one. And don't forget to check out the Park Eye Productions on all social media platforms. Link will be in the description below. I will see you guys next time, and you're clear for this fast.